This is Rich with the Great Outdoors Reporter. Today we're going to take some weather observations and just show you some ways that you at your home, uh, wherever you're at, can get into the rhythm of nature, uh, make some observations, learn some interesting things about the weather and the cycles uh, that it goes through. And so today we're going to take a look at measuring the rain with the rain gauge. We're going to take a look at the air temperature, both in Fahrenheit and Celsius. And then we're going to head down to the lake, which is not far from here. And we're going to look at the wind and measuring the wind speed. And the wind speed is measured commonly in miles per hour. But there's also a scale uh, used to measure the wind, which is called knots. And then uh, finally, while we're at the lake, we're going to take a look at the water temperature. We're going to drop a water temperature gauge in the water and take a look at uh, the difference between the air and the water. And that's something that you can do all year round. So let's go take a look. Uh, let's investigate and uh, have some fun. Now, this is what I talked about earlier. It's a simple rain gauge that you can pick up at a hardware store anywhere. And it's just another great way to do some citizen science or some tracking outdoors, have your kids follow the rain or track it yourself. How much rain is actually one inch of rain? You might be surprised how long it has to rain to reach uh, one inch or two inches of, of rain. So what I do is I have a little place in the ground that's already pretty pretty well grooved out stick that bad boy in there and when the rain comes we like to watch and see how high it goes most rains you know half inch maybe an inch if we're lucky one day last week we ended up with two inches of rain and living in Texas two inches of rain is almost always a good thing especially in the uh, spring summer months so this is the rain gauge. It's a great way to get outdoors, inexpensive, wonderful way for your uh, family to track the weather, and uh, just another component that we're talking about in this video series about uh, tracking the weather and getting outdoors. Pick one up today and, and watch the rain. Another fun and exciting way to get outdoors and enjoy the wilderness even if it's in your yard or in your community, is just track the temperature. We have a simple temperature gauge here that you can see is uh, tracking Celsius and Fahrenheit. And sometimes understanding what degree it is is uh, interesting for even young explorers or, or children or families that are just getting into uh, the great outdoors go over a couple things with them that zero degrees Celsius is 32 degrees Fahrenheit and then the boiling point for Celsius is a hundred and hundred degrees Celsius which is 212 degrees Fahrenheit hopefully you won't be experiencing uh, either of those temperatures for long but this is a simple gauge that can be mounted in the backyard on the fence. I think this one is uh, designed to be on a post. You can see that uh, was a post mounted temperature gauge, but uh, my backyard is being renovated and it's currently without a post, but the post will return. This can also be mounted um, perhaps more permanently with a screw and just a great way for your family to get out the outside, track the temperature in, uh, in real time when they mention 82, 84 degrees on the news. If you're watching the weather, having this, uh, having your family track that, it's just another great way to get outdoors and enjoy it firsthand from your experience, not from someone else. Where to go in Texas but a lake to measure the wind speed and to help do that this evening I brought along a little device that's called an anemometer an anemometer you can see the spelling there on the bottom 
is a very simple device used to measure the wind speed. Take a look at that puppy. We're going to go over this. You can change the settings. A little fan that spins and measures the wind speed. Now the way this works is there's that little spinning fan you can see in there and it will measure the wind speed and right now we are 6.3 knots. You can see on this side it is blowing in a measurement of wind called knots and I'll go over that uh, with a little conversion here in a second but this is just another fun way to show how to make observations of the weather and in this example it's the wind speed so let's watch and see what the wind climbs up to here for just a second it's a beautiful night here in Texas we have some storms down on the coast hopefully not too bad this weekend but we do have some wind kicking up this evening and I'm gonna change the setting from knots to miles per hour so you can see what that equivalent looks like now I've taken a moment just to change the setting to the miles per hour and you can see the miles per hour is uh, a little bit higher than the knots now this little anemometer you can see the spelling here on the bottom uh, also hit the mode it'll measure the temperature and this evening we're coming in at a nice comfortable 88.2 Fahrenheit but this little gizmo is a pretty affordable little device that is going to just help curiosity it's going to bring out um, any family to the wilderness to the outdoors with another reason to measure the wind speed and we use what's called an anemometer for that check that out my friends Another fun family way to measure the temperature, but this time of the water. This is a floating water temperature gauge. And we're gonna drop this guy right in the water. I've got it tied to some line. And this will allow us to see what the water temperature is. You've gotta fill it with water so it sinks. Let, the, let that water collect in there. And then if she sits there for about oh, five or eight minutes, you'll come up with a pretty accurate water temperature reading. Okay, here we go. We have our water temperature gauge. I'm gonna just take this guy out, let it drain for a second, find out what our temperature is, let that water get out. And uh, this evening we're looking at a nice comfortable 85 degrees for water temperature but this is just another fun activity that you can enjoy as a family and chart throughout the year the difference temperatures the water temperature and the air temperature and comparing the two this fun uh, little device I think I got it at a pool supply company for gosh just a couple of bucks and it's a great way to just add another data point to your investigation of the great outdoors